The Regulation G ladder is finally live, and so today I thought it would be the perfect time to go ahead and re-rank all of the restricted legendary Pokemon available in Regulation G. Now, guys, keep in mind with this format, this is a single restricted format, right? So this is only one restricted per team. It's not double restricted like we've seen in the past. Um, and yeah, obviously, these are all the guys here. There are a couple missing that are not in the game right now, things like Xerneas and Yveltal. So do keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, this should have every single restricted that is available in Regulation G. Um, now, I will do my best to kind of go all over all of these mods as well. Kind of just talk about what sets I think they should run or what's good. Um, and of course, yeah, just kind of, I guess, break down why I think they're good uh, and why I think, you know, some maybe aren't so good. Um, in terms of the tiers, though, the S tier will be for the most, uh, you know, broken ones, the meta-defining Pokemon, if you will. Uh, the A tier, very good Pokemon, Pokemon that are still, you know, very, very good, um, you know, but maybe just a little, you know, step below the S tier. Uh, B tier, still solid Pokemon, but, you know, maybe not as good in the current metagame. Uh, definitely Pokemon that you probably see a lot more in the double restricted. The C tier is like, uh, there's a niche, but like, probably don't use it. Uh, and the D tier is like, yeah, we'll probably just don't use it. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we'll jump into it. Uh, and of course, we'll start things off here with the Scarlet Legendary Pokemon, and that is Coriodon. Um, now, might be a bit of a hot take. Um, obviously, at the start of the format, a lot of people were saying Coriodon's pretty bad. Uh, I do think it's the best Sunsetter right now, um, and I generally think it is one of the best Pokemon in the game. I'm going to slap it here in the S tier. Um, so when we talk about Coriodon, this one has a few things going for it. Uh, one, offensively, if you have a look at the stats here, it's very fast and it has a very high attack stat. Uh, its bulk, honestly, is pretty decent, um, but its ability is what really kind of sets it apart, right? It has Sun similar to Groudon, uh, but with Oricorium Pulse, you also get a 1.3 times uh, boost, or 1.333 recurring, I should say. Uh, times boosts your attack stat, which is pretty damn nice, especially too, because this is a, you know, it's a Pokemon that is a dragon fire, uh, dragon fighting type, uh, which has a big weakness to, to fairies, uh, and it also, you know, sets the sun, so fire typing is a very natural defensive typing on this mod, uh, that is also incredibly good offensively as well, right, um, but it also gets access to some really good moves, things like flare blitz uh, and flame charge as well, which are both incredibly good on it, um, and of course it also gets access to things like collision course, um, close combat as well, I guess, uh, and one other move I have actually seen get a little bit of play on this as well is Scale Shot. Um, so just to throw that out there, Scale Shot with um, uh, Loaded Dice is a thing. Um, I've seen it before. Personally, don't love it. I, I do think Clear Amulet is just the way to go with this Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge fan of running things like Clear Amulet with Swords Dance. Um, you, if you want, you can drop Swords Dance for Protect on a set like this. Um, or you could opt to drop one of the five moves uh, for Swords Dance as well. Uh, in the past, I've run a set like this. I think it's really, really solid. Um, and yeah, I think Flame Charge, I guess for anyone who doesn't know, like, uh, the, what I was running was, like, this set here, like, Adamant 196, uh, this, like, with Flame Charge, essentially just one-shots a majority of the Flutter Mains of the game, uh, which is really good, and we're talking, like, really bulky Flutter Mains as well. Um, and another thing as well, I guess, to mention with Terra, uh, for any move with a base power under 60, um, if you Terra, the move gets buffed up to 60 base power, so that is definitely something to keep in mind, this actually becomes 60 base power, and then you get the stab on top of it, um, but yeah, I also think, look, Coridon... It's one of its biggest issues. A lot of people always talk about is this typing here, dragon um, and fighting. Uh, obviously, really weak to fairy types. But realistically, when you look at the fairy type in the metagame right now, it's like Fluttermane and that's it. Like, yeah, Zacian's pretty good. You know, Iron Valiant, like, seems sees a little bit of play right now. Enamorous is slow, like, slowly starting to see a little bit of play. Um, I, I think Iron Valiant's a fraud. I think Enamorous Therian has a niche on Trick Room. I think it's interesting with Overcoat. Um, and it's also just a strong fairy type. But realistically, you look down this list, it's Flutter Main, and that's really it. And because of that, I actually don't think the typing is all that bad. Uh, not to mention, Sun is just really, really good right now. I feel like I'm going way too in-depth on this mod. Uh, but Sun's really good. It gets access to things like, of course, Flutter Main, Chiu, and the Sun's really, really solid as well. Um, of course, you know, Raging Bolt, um, Walking Wake, all that good stuff. I think this mod is just one of the best Pokemon in the game. It's the best weather setter right now. Um, and it's, you know, it's the reason why we're even seeing Pelipper get some results right now. Anyway, we'll move on here to Maridon. Now, for me, Maridon's a big tier mod. Uh, this mod is really good, and this is a mod that probably will see a bit more play once we get a second restricted. Um, honestly, its biggest issue right now is the fact that it doesn't have the best matchup into some of the other top restricteds, right? You know, when we sit here, we'll just go um, look at the top base stat mods here, right? Looking at what's good, um, you know, Tropagos, I mean, it's a pretty 50-50 matchup. Tropagos can remove its terrain, which is kind of annoying. Um, Zacian can outspeed it, but again, it's a very 50-50 matchup. Um, I, you know, technically Maridon has like the type advantage here, but it's, you know, neither one really hits the other one for super effective damage. Um, let's have a look here. Kali Ice, uh, in Trick Room beats it. Kali Shadow can outpace it and out damage it. Uh, what have we got here as well? I mean, Lunala is the one that can like, uh, I mean, Lunala is kind of interesting. Like it, it's such a Trick Room. That's kind of its niche into it. Uh, some other top mods here. Groudon obviously just like kind of beats it. Um, Coridon is like 
thing with Crydon is Crydon doesn't necessarily beat it, but it's the partners Crydon plays with. Like, obviously, it, it likes playing with Fluttermane, uh, which gets the speed boost and then can just deal massive damage forcing your Terra. Uh, and it also gets to play as well with Raging Bolt. And Raging Bolt is one that commonly has Assault Vest. Um, can normally eat any one attack off from Rhydon. And of course, they do share a typing. So it's one of those weird things where, yeah, they can trade Dracos. Um, Assault Vest, uh, uh, what's it called? Raging Bolt probably wins a trade, um, especially because it gets the Sun Boost. Um, but even then, if you force a Terra, the second you do Terra, you lose that 4x resistance to Electric, uh, which makes things kind of nasty. Um, the Kyogre matchup, surprisingly, is really good, but Kyogre does normally play with some friends as well um, that are pretty damn good into it. But yeah, I think Maridon is a mon where its issue is nothing is really good in Electric Terrain right now. None of the Quirk Drive ones are really good. Like, Iron Bundle's okay, but it doesn't feel amazing. Because of that, for me, it's in the B tier. Uh, then we have Terra Pagos. Uh, Tropagos, for me, is an A tier mon. I think this mon early format was really good. Um, but people are kind of just figuring out how to play around it right now. And that's why you're seeing like this common core of just like, you see Insin, you see Rilla, and you see like Amoongus, and then like Urshifu paired up with it. You just get that, like Firewater Grass Core, Double Fake and Intimidate, uh, Terrain. And people are just, yeah, they're doing some like, you know, essentially just Terra Star Storm, and they just click Calm Mind. Look, it's a good set. I think it's really good. Um, I think they're all playing Covet Cloak right now as well to stop things like uh, Fake Out and Snarl. Uh, it's just a really solid mod. It has no real bad matchups. Like Coridon is a relatively bad matchup, funny enough. Of course, you can remove its sun, uh, but you still don't want to eat a collision course. Like, you look at this, uh, you know, gets that boost. Uh, deals a lot of damage, especially for Pokemon that can't tear it out of its normal typing, um, at least defensively, which is pretty bad. Uh, but of course, there is actually one other set I did want to kind of touch on that I've seen rising up, and that's the Sleep Talk set with um, Choice Specs. Like, literally, this is just the set here. You just go Choice Specs, Terra Star Storm, Sleep Talk. The whole game plan is click Terra Star Storm, like, just lead it, Terra Turn 1, Terra Star Storm, bang, bang, bang. If you get slept by an Amoongus, switch it out, switch it back in, sleep talk, sleep talk, sleep talk, and just spamming it, yeah. Uh, pretty funny, but yeah, really, really good Pokemon nonetheless. Now, Mewtwo, um, unfortunately, Mewtwo's a fraud. Uh, this Mon is just completely outclassed, in my opinion, by Calyrax Shadow Rider. Um, it's a Pokemon, yeah, it hits really hard, but if we have a look at Calyrax Shadow Rider here, just right next to it, which obviously we'll touch on soon. Cali Shadow, 165 Special Attack, 150 Speed. It hits harder, it's faster, it has a better stab move in Astral Barrage. Technically a better typing because Ghost is a very good neutral offensive typing. Its ability is better, like it has a broken ability. Mewtwo has just no ability. Um, and yeah, Mewtwo honestly really struggles to find a niche right now. Uh, there is one team I will hopefully showcase in the coming weeks. Um, it's the, what's it called, the Psychop set. Um, you can play Psychop next to, uh, wait, what is it? Yeah, there it is. You can play Psychop next to Dondozo. So you play like Endure Tatsugiri. You blow up something next to it, you get your Dondozo and Protect, and then like your Tatsu dies, and then you just give Mewtwo and Psych up. Um, and again, like the funny thing is you can do the exact same thing with Kali Shadow. Um, but yeah, look, it's it's probably the only niche these things got. Um, it can click Expanding Force, but like again, so can Kali Shadow. It's just a D tier on like probably don't play it. So Lugia, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the C tier. Unfortunately, Lugia's like biggest issue really is its stats. Like you look at this Mon, HP decent defense special defense really good speed stat really good offensive stats just bad pressures honestly pretty bad on it multi-scale is like good don't get me wrong multi-scale is good uh multi-scale weakness policy is like a thing but realistically like this guy he clicks calm mind and, and he just clicks recover um and that that's it i mean aeroblast don't get me wrong aeroblast is a good move um yeah 100 like 100 base power 95 accurate high crit move it's good um but yeah that's kind of as far as it goes you get earth power yeah you get earth power so he probably runs something like that um, and it's like, yeah, you kind of need to run it with support. You need to like heal it up. And like, that's, yeah, that's kind of it. Um, I did see one set actually that cooked me on ladder. It was psych up next to the, um, the Alolan Muck Cheese where they, you know, they get their moody, they spam evasion. And then the Lugia comes in with multi-scale, psychs it up. And then all of a sudden it's all buffed up. Uh, but yeah, look, it's a niche mon. You could make it work. I think it is, it has a niche that no other real restricted has in terms of you know calm mind multi-scale but honestly it's just not that good so this one might be a hot take i'm actually going to throw ho -Oh in the b tier here so ho -Oh is a mon i'm kind of a believer in um again this mon is a pokemon that is probably going to be a lot better in double restricted um fire flying is actually in vgc at least a very good typing um obviously you know a lot of people know about charizard's typing in singles being weak to things like stealth rocks but in vg it's actually not that bad it only has like three weaknesses uh and realistically rock isn't actually that common um but yeah look with regenerator and some really good stats this pokemon is actually not too bad uh clear amulet obviously is this thing's best friend um it's like really really good and of course sacred fire being able to burn everything is just so broken and you know having a strong flying type right now is also not a bad thing brave bird in the current metagame is pretty damn nice so having things like protect 
and then whatever you want in the last slot is pretty good. Recover obviously is pretty nice. I mean, especially when you pair that up with Regenerator, this one can stick around for a very long time. Has a very good attack stat, very good bulk. Um, really, its its biggest issue here is the defensive stat being pretty poor, but Sacred Fire does cover for that pretty um pretty well. Now, in terms of partners I've seen with this, um, the standard like Fire Water Grass stuff is pretty good. Like, it's a decent fire type on those teams. Um, I have also been cooked by like double Intimidate plus Glamora on this team once, where they kind of just like led their Glamora, they got their Toxic Spites up, and then they just went like Ho Ho Sacred Fire, just like recover spam, and then just like cycling and um Landorus and a uh, Incinera, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah. I'm a believer in Ho-Ho. I think this mod actually has some potential. It has decent matchups into some of the ones that are good. Um, obviously, it has a very high special defense stat, which means it can actually take some hits from Kali Shadow pretty well. Um, obviously, having Sun into Coridon is pretty good. Uh, and of course, being able to resist both of... Or actually, it doesn't resist Coridon's moves in the sense that if it clicks a Dragon-type move, obviously Ho-Ho uh, doesn't resist it. But this Pokemon commonly clicks Fire-type moves and Fighting moves, uh, which of course Ho-Ho resists both. So it does have a pretty solid matchup there. Its matchup into uh, Maridon is not the greatest. Into Tropagos, it is also pretty decent because it doesn't care. Like, it's like, oh yeah, just spam your Car Mine. I'm just going to spam, you know, Sacred Fires, burn your Rillaboom, um, you know, deal a lot of damage to your uh, your Tropagos. Uh, and yeah, I honestly think the Mon is um, it's actually pretty good. It's a base Mon right now. Um, Kyogre, look, I'm a bit biased, but I do think Kyogre is really good. Um, a lot of people were like hating on Kyogre at the start of the format and were like, oh, Kyogre is a fraud, blah, blah, blah. Like, nah, Kyogre is not a fraud, man. This Mon is good. You're like, it, it will always be good. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Pelipper's running around right now just because, like, Wide Guard's good. Drizzle into Coriadon's good as well. Especially because sometimes you don't want to commit your Restricted to beat it. But yeah, like, don't sleep on this mod, man. I've seen the Choice Scarf sets running around. I've seen the Mystic Water sets running around. They're both really good. Um, this mod, honestly, you know, most of the time you're running Water Pulse. Uh, not Water Pulse. Water Spout. Jesus, don't run Water Pulse, boys. Uh, and then you got Origin Pulse as well. Um, it also gets access to things like Thunder and Ice Beam. They are commonly, like, your two, um, you, you'll norm normally always have one of these, right? Ice Beam is really good, of course, to help you add into things like the Water and the Dragon types. Thunder is also really good into opposing Water types as well. Um, and then normally Water Spout and Origin Pulse are just, you know, uh, always going to be on the set, really. Uh, if you're playing Choice Scarf, this is what you're running. If you're not, say, if you're playing, like, Mystic Water, chances are you're definitely dropping one of these uh, and potentially dropping both of these. I've, I have seen people go, like, Mystic Water 3 attack. Um, I've also seen people just drop the Water Spout and go Calm Mind. Both of which are pretty solid. Uh, obviously, it pairs really well with things like Archaladon, which actually has a pretty decent matchup right now. Um, being that it's a natural assault vest holder, it's a dragon type, really good into the fire, water, grass stuff. Uh, does make it pretty good right now, and it is also a resist into electric types. Uh, and then on top of that, Urshifu and Rain is always a good thing. Tornadus, like Torn Ogre, is just always going to be good. Um, and yeah, I think Kyogre right now, it's in the AT. I think this mod's really, really good. Now, speaking of frauds, uh, unfortunately, Groudon has kind of found himself into the, the fraud tier here. He's a bit of fraud on, if you ask me. Honestly, Groudon itself is a pretty solid mon. Um, I think Groudon's biggest issue is when you compare it to Coridon right now, Coridon is just more consistent, right? It is a faster Pokemon. Sure, it doesn't hit as hard, but it has, you know, secondary stabs. It's a better user of that, you know, Terra Fire in the Sun. Um, obviously, it gets things like Flame Charge. I think it naturally just pairs better with some of the Restricteds as well. Um, and again, having the Dragon type in a metagame where Fire, Water, Grass is so common uh, is always a good thing. Um, but realistically, Groudon was a big, you know, big beneficiary mon here of the Clear Amulet. Of course, everyone thought Groudon plus Fluttermane was going to be a broken combo. You know, it's basically just Zerndon. Uh, but if you honestly want to know the biggest issue Groudon has, boys, it's this right here. Read that move. 120 base power. Insane, right? 120 base power spread move hits both mons. But it's 85% accurate. There are games where, you know, you, you click the Precipice Blades turn one. The Incineroar dodges it. He knocks you off, he switches out, he switches back in, he intimidates you, he fakes you out, and your game is over. It's not fun. Missing this move feels so bad. It's like, why miss this when I could just click Collision Course, when I could just click Flare Blitz, right? Um, that's really it. Groudon, in my opinion, is just outclassed by Coridon right now, um, and it's pretty sad, honestly. So, I'm going to make this one here pretty quick. Um, I think Rayquaza is a B tier mon. Again, maybe a little bit of bias. I'm a big fan of Rayquaza. I love the Hoenn Trio. All three of them, I think they're fantastic. A lot of people say, you know, this mod's not good. I think, you know, Extreme Speed next to Chien Pao, it's always going to be good. Terra Normal right now also is a very good uh, defensive terror into things like Kali Shadow, of course. Uh, but really, I think Dragon Ascent is the main thing that is really good about this mod. This is such a strong move that you don't even have to play this mod as an E-Speed bot. Like, I even spoke to some of the boys about potentially just not running E-Speed on this thing, just going like Dragon Dance, Dragon Ascent. Um, I think it's good. The mod hits really hard. Its bulk is... It, look, it leaves a lot to be desired, but with Terra Normal, it does cover a lot of your weaknesses. You can normally live any one attack. 
And of course, next to Champ Out, it's a pretty damn good Pokemon, right? Um, the Dialga forms now. I am going to... I'm going to basically talk about them at the same time. I have seen people make arguments for this thing being decent. Realistically, in my opinion, they're just the same Mon in a sense. Um, it's just the origin form is like probably slightly better. Like when you look at the stats here, the only thing that changes is regular Dialga loses 20 attack and um, it gets put into the, the special defense stat, which is a plus for um, Dialga because it wants to use its um, special attack stat, not its physical attack stat. And then it also gets the Adamant Crystal um, buffing up its stab move. So again, pretty decent. Realistically, there is no other item Dialga kind of wants to run that does the same things. Uh, now, what does this Mon do? It has Telepathy. It sits next to, you know, regular Ursa Luna under Trick Room. Uh, and you just spam Earthquakes with this thing clicking at stab moves. Um, obviously, it's a Trick Room setter. It's relatively slow. Like, in terms of restricted Pokemon, it's kind of slow. And then, yeah, you just click things like Flash Cannon, you know, Draco Meteor and whatnot. Honestly, I don't think either are that good right now. They do the exact same thing. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend playing them. Uh, pretty similar to these two, the two Palkia forms as well. Realistically, like, they kind of do the same thing again. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I shouldn't say they do the same thing. Like, regular Palkia is like a decent Trick Room bond, but really this one thrives when Kyogre is top of the meta. Uh, and right now it's not. Like, Kyogre is still, in my opinion, top five mon right now. Um, but it, being that it's not like, you know, number one, number two, number three, I do think Palkia really, really struggles. Uh, and Palkia, oh, um, sure, it gets some speed. Like, that's the big buff here, right? It loses 20 attack, gains 20 in its speed stat. Uh, but guess what? 120 speed right now, um, it's not actually that fast. We're in a metagame where we have base 100 and, you know, 35, base 150, 148, all that good stuff running around. Uh, and yeah, because of that, realistically, this one's decent. Like, Water Dragon is a solid typing. Um, but honestly, just like, like, it doesn't use its abilities. Like, Telepathy is not as good. Yeah, it can collect Trick Room, but like, it, it's base 100 speed, probably don't run Trick Room. This one here also probably don't run Trick Room, it's like, I don't know. And like, also, it's lack of like, good Water Stab is probably like, what also really hurts it as well. Like, look at this, man. What are you clicking, Hydro Pump? Like, come on, man. It just, yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it honestly, it, it just feels bad. I'm sorry, you go in there. Um, Dialga, sorry, not Dialga, Giratina. Uh, you're in the D tier, but there is an interesting team I found with Giratina. Again, I'm going to rank them both together here. Uh, we're going to look at the more offensive one because I do think they are both pretty average. But there is one team I've seen that makes me want to try this Pokemon. And that is the Hex set. Um, so I believe it gets Will-O-Wisp itself. Um, and of course it gets Hex. And then I think it also gets Recover off memory. No, it had... I'm sure it had some form of regeneration that I'm forgetting off the top of my head. Am I wrong? Is it just Pain Split? Maybe it's just Pain Split. I don't know. But there was like some set... Um, I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'm planning on featuring it in the video in a couple weeks. I'll have to double check it. Um, but there's like some team where you pair it up with like just the basic, you know, balance stuff. You've got a Moongus, you've got, you know, Incine, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Rapid. And then it had a Glamora on the team and then it had this Mon. And its job was just to survive and click Hex on everything that's been statused. It's not a good Pokemon, but maybe there's a chance. Maybe, maybe there's a chance. Uh, Reshiram though, this is a Pokemon where it's in a really interesting spot because its typing is really good. It's very good into the Sun teams, and as Sun you know continues to grow, I do think it's going to be good. Um, nah, I can't put it in the B tier. It's not as good as the rest here. I mean, like yeah, again, realistically, it's a it's a decent one. Don't get me wrong. I actually think Reshiram is definitely going to have a place in Double Restricted. Um, Dragon Fire is like never a bad typing, but again, I think a lot of these restricted legendaries, at least the older ones like pre Gen Six. They, they suffer from like this here. Like your second best stat is your second offensive stat. You're not clicking this thing, right? When you compare this to something like Calyrax Shadow Rider, like, oh, Calyrax Shadow, what's your attack stat? 85, it's your second worst stat, man. And this guy's like, oh, my second best stat is the one I'm not using. I don't know, it's just, it's bad. But again, look, good fire types are never a bad thing, right? Blue Flare, honestly, is pretty good. Um, I feel like there's another fire move I'm missing that this thing gets. Uh, is it is it just Blue Flare? Like, I'm not, am I capping? Oh, Fusion Flare, yeah, so that one there. Fusion Flare is what I was running on my Kieran White. Um, yeah, look, I think it's, I don't know. Like, I think there's a place for it. It's just not that great. Uh, Zekrom, I'm going to put you in the same tier. Zekrom's, like, niche here is, um, it, it gets Clear Amulet now, I guess. Like, getting Clear Amulet's, like, always good on a physical attacker. Uh, but it's just too slow. Like, yeah, you can run Dragon Dance. But this is a mod that it's, like, you have to invest so much in your speed 
Like this thing has to hit 156. Like you, sorry, not timid. You have to go jolly max so that you just outspeed things after plus one. And honestly, that just feels bad. Again, clear amulet, dragon dance. It hits hard. Um, but again, this special attack stat, I think is what's really holding it back. If you drop like 20 out of this and put it into the speed stat, it's probably decent. Uh, but it's other like major issue too, is if you just go like dragon and you just go electric, you'll see that there are three of them. And it, it's the worst. Like I just play Mariah on a raging bolt over Zekrom, man. Uh, yeah, it feels bad. Um, Cure and Black, probably just going straight in the C tier. Uh, Cure and Black, its biggest issue is it's like, yeah, it wants to click, um, like it wants to hold Clear Amulet, but it also kind of needs Loaded Dice. Like Loaded Dice with Scale Shot and um, Icicle Spear is actually probably pretty decent. And then you just go like Protect and then like, uh, does it get Swords Dance? I think it has to go Dragon Dance, right? Yeah, and then you just go like Dragon Dance. Uh, so like something like that's honestly probably okay. Uh, but realistically, like you also kind of want clear amulet. And then like, if you have clear amulet, these aren't hitting all of the turns, but you also kind of have to run these moves. So I don't know, it makes it super awkward. Um, then we'll also talk about cure and white while we're here. We'll just get it out the way. This mod I actually think is good. Um, I'm building around it now for a video. I think assault vest and specs are both really good. Um, obviously things like blizzard and freeze dry are both really solid in the metagame right now. Uh, and then of course it also gets some other good things, right? It gets earth power, which is like fantastic coverage for an ice type. Uh, also gets access to things like Fusion Flare, of course, uh, Draco Meteor as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm going to spec him in the B tier. I think he actually has a pretty good matchup into a lot of mons. Um, and its natural bulk paired with its really high special attack is actually really good. Um, you pair it up with an Intimidate, potentially some Snow, um, Assault Vest on the special defense stat, a very good HP stat. And yeah, this mon can tank a lot of Pokemon in the metagame right now and threaten massive damage. Like you look at this stuff here, like modest max special attack, you hit 244. Um, absolutely nutty. I think it's actually the strongest special attacker in the game, right? Yeah, it is. It's actually one of the few Pokemon stronger than Kali, Shadow, and Turn 1. Uh, the major difference is Blizzard needs Snow to be 100% accurate, uh, and it's still 10 points weaker than Astral Barrage. Um, and it also doesn't get its damage buffed in the Snow. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to I'm gonna smack you in the beats here. Um, Curum White, I'm not even going to talk about it. Don't play it. It's literally the worst Curum. Uh, these two forms here, not good. Um, oh, dude, we got some ass to talk about here. I'm gonna like throw Necrozma down here as well, and both the hero forms just get them out the way. Uh, same with Kelly. They're all they're all bad. Don't play them. Um, yeah. Uh, so Galio, uh, honestly, C tier. Um, so Galio is like, it doesn't have a great niche right now. It's its biggest issue, right? Yeah, like you know, with full metal body here, you know, you can't get intimidated, which means you don't have to run clear amulet. You're relatively bulky mon, good HP, solid defenses. You could run things like weakness policy. Um, I do think Dragon Dance oh, doesn't even wait. Why do I think it got Dragon Dance? You get agility. Do you get Swords Dance? I, why do I think this thing got Dragon Dance? Is it the other form that gets Dragon Dance? Does Dusk Mane get Dragon Dance? Am I crazy? This whole time I thought it. Okay, yeah, so Dusk Mane. I'm sitting here thinking like, wow. Like, okay, don't worry. I'm, I'm 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 crazy. I'm crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Um, like it gets Trick Room, but it's like probably too fast for Trick Room. Um, it, it's it's ability. It's sorry, signature move. Uh, not Steel Beam. Sun Steel Strike pretty solid um it does get access to things like psychic things but like realistically don't use it it's a bad mon like weakness policy like I, I, yeah like i don't know like weakness policy bulldoze stuff in like dynamax was like a lot better than this uh but again like look at this here dude like i, I was talking about like pre-gen 6 dude i didn't realize they did him like this take like 20 out of that special attack and put it in speed i, I think so is a really cool mon but yeah he's, he's you know what uh no i'm gonna put him in ct he's not as fraudulent as some of these mods here Lunala, on the other hand, really solid mod. I think it definitely belongs to the B tier here. Um, Lunala is... I think its issue right now is it has a lot of things going for it. Shadow Shield's really, really good. Um, but it's kind of just outpaced in the current metagame. But regardless, I still think you can play it with like things like Trick Room Wide Guard. Um, I do think one of the better sets for it, of course, is the Meteor Beam stuff. Um, and of course, like that's with Power Herb. Uh, Power Herb. Um, so you can run something like that as well. Um, and then, of course, you just go Moon Guys Beam, which is like a really, really good stab move. Uh, there are also sets as well with like Terra Fairy Moonblast, which I do think like Fairy's probably the best Terra on this one. You can drop Wide Guard for like Moonblast and then run like free attack. You can even drop Meteor Beam if you want. It has really, really good stats. It's, you know, relatively fast, hits really hard, good bulk. Um, and yeah, it just has like a solid matchup into most of the metagame. Um, yeah, because I'm just going to put it in the B tier. So Dusk Main, I'm going to smack you in the C tier as well. Um, we did kind of talk about it just before. I think Prison Armor, while it's not a bad ability, um, Clear Metal, like this one just, sorry, Full Metal Body feels a bit better because you're a physical attacker with really good attack. So it feels like you kind of need Clear Amulet. But like you also like, I mean, Dragon Dance is niche, but again, it's like nowhere near fast enough to run DD. <laughs> um, so you probably want to run it with like Trick Room. And then like, you kind of want like Weakness Policy, but you also kind of want Clear Amulet. 
Um, it's slow, but it's like not slow enough. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think this mod's probably just... If we go brave. Like, yeah, with 73 with zero speed. I don't know. It, it feels just a little fraudulent if you ask me. Um, yeah, it's just it's a C tier mod. Same with that. Like, Dawn Wings, it's, it's basically just worse Lunala. It does the exact same thing Lunala does. Uh, it's just worse. Like, Prison Armor is a worse ability. Yeah, it's slower. It hits harder. It looks bulkier. Technically, it looks bulkier, right? If you have a look at Lunala, it's like, oh, Lunala has a higher HP stat, but it has worse defenses and special defenses. But, like, that HP stat carries, man. Like, 204 versus 244, that 40 HP is more than those, you know, defensive points are going to do for it. Um, especially with Shadow Shield as well. Um, so, yeah, honestly, it's just, it's just worse. Just don't play it. Um the dogs i'm gonna rank them both together here i think they're both a, uh, a tier very very good pokemon um if we have a look at them here oh it's gonna be the last time i delete them all too uh so zashian and zamazenta so zashian uh, we'll go to the crown form here and zamazenta um so what do these mons do um obviously the big dog here um you know he gets the plus one to his physical attack that he's very fast hits very hard second fastest mod in the format it's incredibly good i do think the set changes i think sword stance is almost a must on it uh but with the behemoth blade uh, and of course, just play Ruffle or Sacred Sword, whichever one you want to go for here. Um, I do think this mod becomes incredibly good. Uh, you probably drop one of these through here for Protect. Uh, potentially even drop Swords Dents as well. But yeah, I think there's a lot of ways you can run this mod right now. I think Pelop is one of its best friends. Having Rain plus Tailwind plus Wide Guard is just always really good. Um, of course, it also has things where, like, you know, compare it with Gadget Fire for the house stuff. Pairs up really well with Chen Pao. Um, honestly, just a really underrated mod. I think as the format develops, people will start realizing, hey, like, hey, it's still really good. That's why I've gotten the A tier. I still think Zashin is a very good Pokemon. Uh, at least definitely on a different tier from all these ones here. And the Zamazenta. Um, that is the wrong dog here. But Zamazenta is probably the biggest winner of Regulation G in my opinion. This is the one where if you look at this format here. A lot of people would have said yeah Sun broken. Yeah you know Terra Star Storm Terra. I forget this is yeah, broken. Kyogre Rain broken. 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 You know this one everyone had a lot of hype for this guy. Obviously we know what the two Kali's are like. But yeah, Zamazenta was that one mon where people probably thought it was going to be like C tier. Uh, but realistically, this mon's really good. Um, it does get wide guard, but I'll say this. Don't run wide guard. I think it's a I think it's a throw. Um, but yeah, body press, iron defense is like the set. Uh, and then I believe as well, people go heavy slam. I was talking to Will Tank. I think he goes heavy slam over and then just like protect. Uh, and yeah, this mon's physical defense stat is so high that like I, I was personally running this. I've seen even people run uh, 156. But like you look at this stat here and then you get plus one from your ability, which by the way, way better than Zacian's ability right now because normally when this one comes in it doesn't want to leave the board uh and also too you can't get intimidated down when you're using your defense stat so having 300 defense almost on a stab body press is absolutely absurd and then you can click iron defense and again the metagame right now is super physical like you click iron defense oh i've gone back too far here but if you click iron defense into crydon it's free into Zacian, it's free you know into these mons here it's free man like, it is just really, really free into a lot of the top teams right now. Uh, and because of that, yeah, I think the dog is just really, really good. Now, call me bias. Uh, I'm going to say Eternatus is in B tier. Now, there are two different sets people are running on Eternatus right now. One is the really, really annoying set I've seen. I'm pretty sure they go, like, lefties. Um, they use pressure because, like, it lowers um, PP on moves. God damn, that was way harder the set than it should have been. Uh, and then they just go, like, Cosmic Power Recover, right? super annoying where they're just like oh yeah i'm gonna spam cosmic power i'm gonna have my ruler incin and is doing their thing um, i've even seen people pair it up with toxic and toxic spikes like this mod gets both of those i've seen people go toxic i've seen people go toxic spikes really depends on the team but yeah their idea is just to stall you out of um pp right it's like oh you're trying to wicked blow me with a you know with the urshifu dark i'm just gonna spam recover you get four of them now your game's over right um i'm a you know i'm a toxic everything it's just super super annoying that set, I personally hate. But there is a new set I've seen. And it's a set that your boy absolutely loves. And that is the Power Herb set. Because there was this team that I played a lot in Regulation F, right? That had Chiyu, had Fluttermane, Tornadus, Urshifu Dark. You know, that's my main call. You know, we had had that Ogreporn Wellspring. But I had Glamora. And what did Glamora do on those teams? It had Power Herb, Meteor Beam. Now, while this one here does not get the Stab Meteor Beam, it still does get the Stab Sludge Bomb. It also now gets access to things like Dynamax Cannon. And also gets access to Flamethrower if you want it as well. Um, yeah, Flamethrower. It's it's not bad on this one, yeah? Power Herb plus Meteor Beam gets the plus one attack. Special attack, I should say. But really, the winner here is this. 
this speed stat at 130 next to Chiyu is bonkers, right? 145 special attack. Obviously, it's really good, yeah. We all know it's really good. But the bulk as well. Defense is solid. But this is really good here as well. 140 um, HP. Kind of insane. Uh, and then you also factor in the fact that, you know, one of Glamora's biggest issues, right, is loses to Urgy Rapid, forces it to Terra. Uh, Rillaboom, while, well, you know, doesn't hit it for super effective damage technically, um, hits it for neutral and absolutely bops it. It's a Dragon type. It resists both. I think Eternatus, like literally on those Glamora teams, is really good. I was testing it on ladder today. I literally ran my ult up from like, I think it was like 1300 to like 1600 with like one loss. Really good mod. I'm telling you right now, this is a really good mod um, on those teams in particular. And again, it might be my bias because I love those teams in particular. I love Meteor Beam next to Chiyu. Uh, but yeah, I actually think there's a lot of potential there. Uh, and then to round us out here, we have the two Broken Horses. Um, not gonna lie, Calyrax Shadow Rider is ST. It's the most, it's, it is the best Pokemon in the game. Um, Calyrax Ice, I am torn. I think personally, Coridon is better than it. I think Calyrax Ice Rider is the third best Pokemon in the game. I don't know if I want to say it's the best A tier Pokemon or if it's the worst S tier Pokemon, but it, it's right here. Like, my only issue with putting it in the S tier is I don't think Trick Room's that good. I think Trick Room, when played well, is good. I think there are ways to beat this. A lot of Incineroars right now are running Will-O-Wisp. A lot of the Kali Ices have changed to Terra Grass because of Amoongus. And because of that, I, I think I've convinced myself I'm going to put it in the A tier. So, of course, Calyrax Shadow Rider. We'll talk about you first, uh, and then we'll just put the Ice Rider in second. Uh, but yeah, Shadow Rider, it's the best one in the game. Offensively, this typing is absolutely insane. Uh, I think people have started realizing Focus Sash is probably just the best item on this mon. Uh, Focus Sash plus Terra Ghost, that is, because one, you get the survivability, and two, you get the, you know, the damage buff here. But it's really this. Astral Barrage is the most broken move in the game. Um, hits both mons, there is zero drawback, and it's 120 base power. Coming off the second strongest um, special attack in the game, a set like this is all you need for this mon to honestly just run rampant. Uh, of course, it also gets access to Nasty Plot as well, which is what a lot of people have started doing. I think Wolf was kind of the one who made it popular. Uh, but regardless, you know, a lot of people are doing it. Um, it's obviously going to always be good, right? You know, you buff this up to like 434 before you move. Of course, it's great. Uh, also gets access to things like Expanding Force, which honestly is not seeing that much play right now. Uh, but Psychic and Psy Shock are also pretty good options as well. Uh, and then the other main one as well is Draining Kiss that people are running. Of course, you just run that Protect as well. Um, but yeah, sets like this, um, Terra Fairy normally with this set as well is like really, really good. It's just the best Pokemon in the game. Its ability is dumb. Um, unfortunately, I have to go to Spec Rare just to show you what Grimmie does. Uh, but yeah, if you pick up a KO, uh, you get plus one to the special attack stat. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you look at this Pokemon, it, it just, it, it's like, oh, you picked up a KO, now you have 330 attack. Oh, you picked up two KOs, and now you got 434 special attack. Yeah, it's it's broken, man. This bond, it, it's the best Pokemon in the game. It is the most meta warping Pokemon in the game. Everyone, it, like, it, it, it may not see the results. It's like, oh, everyone's like, you say it's the best Pokemon in the game, but why is there only like two in the top eight? It's because everyone is ready for it. Like, that's the thing. Everyone is going to be ready for Calyrex Shadow Rider. Because of that, it's results, you know, it might not be like eight of eight in the top eight of events, but if it's not, it's because everyone is ready. Everyone's prepared to try to beat this Pokemon. Uh, and then, of course, Ice Rider, another really good Pokemon. Uh, one of the biggest winners here, Clear Amulet being absolutely absurd on it. Uh, it gets a pretty broken move, similar to Calyrax in, um, in Glacial Lance here. Uh, normally, they run high horsepower. Close combat is another option as well. Uh, but realistically, this mon is a trick room set, all right? You run something something like this. Um, that's Precipice Blades. You don't run that. Although, yeah, I mean, you put that in a high horsepower slot and you got something saucy there. Uh, but yeah, at base 50, um, it is literally one of the slowest Pokemon in the game. In terms of trick room right now, there are like, technically, I guess, four Pokemon that C play that underspeed it. Um, Torkoal underspeeds it, but commonly Torkoals right now are paired with other Kelly Ice. Um, Hat does underspeed it, but Hat is not popular right now. Uh, and then it's Clef and Amoongus. Uh, Amoongus is being run at like no speed because Clefs are seeing play on Kelly Shadow teams. Uh, and of course, you know, Clef is, as I just said, they're running like minimum speed. They hit like 36. It's so that they can, you know, after you and let their allies go first. Um, so yeah, do keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, this Pokemon is really, really good. It hits really, really hard. Its natural bulk is insane. Like 150, 130 is wild. You just kind of pump it into the HP. And yeah, this one, it deals a lot of damage. Uh, and very similar to Spectre, um, Glastria does have a, uh, has has basically the physical version, right? Chilling Nay, uh, every time you pick up a KO, you get plus one to your physical attack. Um, and I guess like the other thing too, I, I didn't mention with them that I should have is they get as one. Like I talk about the broken ability. The other one's Unnerve, which, you know, by itself, it doesn't seem that great. But when you think about it, like 
Urshifus just don't run Citrus Berry anymore because, like, same with, like, Amoongus, right? Like, oh, you know, you just took 60% to Astral Barrage. Like, oh, my berry will heal me out of range. Like, no, it won't. You can't eat the berry. <laughs> like, Amoongus's Incineroars, they just don't get their berries in front of this thing. Um, which, which is a big reason why I'm a believer of people running Assault Vest on um, Incineroar right now with Safety Goggles. I think they're the only two options you can run because what's the point in having a berry if the most common Pokemon in the game is not going to allow me to eat my berry? Uh, but yeah, I guess is that it? Is, is there anything I want to change here? Um, I definitely think they're the two best mods. Like again, th this is interchangeable. You could drop, put it in the S tier if you wanted. I think it's here. Uh, this is like probably fine. Zama Sense is probably better than those two. I'm, I'm not going to order everything. I feel like that'd be way too much of a pain. Does anything here need to move up? Probably not. Yeah, I think that's probably it, right? If that's the case. Yeah, yeah I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, boys. I'm going to wrap it up here then. Um, I guess let me know down below what you think. Like, obviously, again, uh, it, this today technically is day one. The ladder's been live for like four hours at the time of recording this. Um, so yeah, I guess let me know down below what you think of the tier list. Let me know if you think I messed any up. Let me know if you, I guess, agree with some of my, uh, my opinions here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that'll be it for this one. Catch you in the next one. Peace.